Hello, I'm Helen Mubarak, Public Affairs Coordinator for Grunfoss North America, and I'm here today with Mr. Niels Du Jensen, who was Chairman of the Board of the Paul Du Jensen Foundation. Neil's father, Paul Du Jensen, started Grunfoss back in 1945, and since that time we've grown from one small factory in Beringbro, Denmark, to more than 80 companies worldwide with 18,000 employees. This year uh, we're celebrating our 40th anniversary in the, in the USA, and that's what we're here to talk to Niels about today. So Niels, tell us, what do you consider to be the biggest breakthroughs in the water industry in the past decade? I, I think one of the most important uh, breakthroughs are the tremendous design work and technology work on uh, uh, creating pumps with a higher energy efficiency. And the other thing I would say, I see a major breakthrough uh, in the market by Chinese uh, pump manufacturers. They have over the last 10 years really done a remarkable progress and are today a serious competition to both Grundfos and also many other, other uh, pump companies in the world. And um, we have to work hard, you know, uh, staying ahead of them. How have you seen Grundfos change in the past 40 years of operations here in the United States? The significance of this milestone is first of all that we are, that Grundfos in the U.S. are still here and are here as a strong company in, in the market. And we can be proud of that, and so the 40-year celebration is really worth celebrating. And uh, we should simply uh, be proud of, of having now put 40 years behind us. And we should also be proud of, of the culture, as I said before, that we have in our company, and we should be proud of you know, the relationship we are, have been able to build with many, many uh, U.S. Uh, customers. And I also say I'm, I think we should uh, be proud and see it as a, an important milestone that we are still hanging on to delivering products uh, of high quality to, to our customers and um, a very good uh, service. Tell us what you think your father would have been most proud of in terms of Grunfos progress internationally and then here in the United States. Uh, it was, as I said, one of my father's uh, really uh, big dreams to establish his company here in the U.S. And uh, here after 40 years, I think he would have been extremely proud of seeing the results of all that hard work all this dedication of thousands of Grundfos employees over these 40 years here. Of course, he would also have been very proud of seeing that we are hanging on to his most important business principles of being excellent in our products, mm -hmm. trying to stay ahead in, in uh, pump technology, and at the same time, maintaining and developing a company where employees really like to work, you know. That's, that would have made him really happy to see. And by the way, I think, I believe in some way that he is watching us. See, uh, he, he is following what's, what's going on and, and, and uh, I think that's the way it is. Okay, lastly, we'd just like to know how you spent your summer vacation this year. Yes, this year we uh, spent uh, uh, a number of three, four weeks in our summer house in Denmark, having the whole family together. So it was a wonderful, uh, um, warm and sunny summer on the beach, and you know we had. Um, our two children there with their children, and so we were together, I think, 11, 12 people for, for a week or two, and, and um, enjoyed the grandchildren, and, and enjoyed the good seafood, and enjoyed swimming a little bit in the cold ocean <laughs> in, in Denmark, and uh, I'm traveling so much over the 
for the year, so I, I don't need to go much abroad for, for vacation. Mm -hmm. However, I, I, this week I went to Canada for, for, for salmon fishing, and I must say I enjoyed Canada. Uh, New Brunswick, where we went for fishing one of the famous um, salmon rivers, uh, salmon rivers you know, called Cascapedia. I enjoyed that a lot. And uh, the beautiful nature in, in, in Canada is, is something that I'm, I'm, I'm wild uh, about, you know. And I got a few salmon and they were all released back in the, in, in, oh. the, in the river again. So I didn't do much harm. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Neil, so much for taking the time to speak with us today about our 40th anniversary, of which we're very, very proud. And we really appreciate you taking your time. Thank you, Helen. It was a pleasure for me too.